Homing pigeon. Yes. My homing pigeon. Let's do this.
do we do the straight up 10 or the critical 10? I think we do the straight up 10 because our critical is only 15%. So I think we just take the regular damage more. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. We'll still just... I'm gonna like try to mow it down and shit. Another one swinging at us inside, but they're coming, they're coming hard, bruh. Uh, we got the Birdman also. This is rough, this is looking rough right here. Well, let's grab all this free shit over here. Oh my god, there's another fucking tackler? Oh lord. We gotta put down some of these bosses, dude. They're trying to stack up. Oh, another one. Oh, fuck. They cause all the little guys to build up because you can't shoot through them and shit. It's fucked up. We survived. That's why it was so fucked up because we made it all the way to the light. That's the only third time we've ever done that. Third time we ever survived, fam. I knew that strong. I knew that team was strong enough to do it. Oh damn, we got rewards too. Damn, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. And we got 13 points, so we can finish up one of these probably. Put that at 50, or that at 12 and a half. Some of these other ones. Oh yeah, where was that one? This one. That's the one we want. Reload speed. <clears throat> I don't think I have anything that costs three. Yeah, one of these. Oh yeah, I already got that one. Fuck. Awesome. <clears throat> Alright. We're going to watch a YouTube video together while I chomp, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do for the rest of my day. I'm going to put on something cool for us real quick. Got me some nice breakfast here. I ain't even going to lie. I got pork chops and eggs and potatoes. Big old pork chop steak. Ain't even no lie. That's what I got. Good. Yep. It is, brother, it is. Who the fuck is this guy? I don't know about all that. Mm. Pinglet oxygen. What the fuck is that? Red light here. 
a light that can be used to make one of the most powerful lasers in the world that can actually shoot missiles out of the sky. Star Wars set the standard for some pretty cool technology. We're starting to catch up to this science fiction technology. We've got robots, AI, we can make holograms. But what about laser guns? Well, I showed in a previous video how you can make a regular laser look like a laser gun using the rolling shutter effect. But what about the power of lasers? I mean, the Death Star destroyed a whole planet. Well, to make a laser, you need to produce a lot of light. For example, this laser here is producing about one watt of light. This is enough light that we can easily light things on fire and burn stuff. The energy to make this light comes from electricity. So I like how casually he says that. Burn stuff, you know. Yeah. The electricity can be used to light up a gas like CO2 lasers, or it can be used to generate light in semiconductors like in laser diodes. The stronger your laser, the more electricity you need to use. But there's a problem with this. Once you get to really high-powered lasers, you need a lot of electricity in a short amount of time. So when you get to really high-powered lasers, they don't stay on all the time. They actually pulse on and off so that they can build up the electrical power needed in capacitors and then discharge them. So pulse lasers have a high peak power but a low average power. But if we're looking to mimic the Death Star, we don't want a pulse laser. We want a high continuous power laser. But we start to run into a lot of problems really fast. Yeah, it's hard to deliver breaker. thousands of watts of electricity continuously, especially if you want a laser that's mobile. Batteries can't even come close to delivering the power you need for a laser this strong. But why are we constraining ourselves to produce light with electricity? Well, the reason mostly is because to produce a laser, you have to use monochromatic light, or light with only one wavelength of light. It's actually a very small range of wavelengths. This is because the light has to be completely in sync together. This can't happen easily if you have a ton of different wavelengths together. So is there actually a way to produce light without electricity in only a very narrow range of frequencies? Well, yes, there is. One way to do it is using something that you've seen all over the internet. This is the elephant toothpaste reaction. You just take some hydrogen peroxide and let it decompose with a catalyst to produce oxygen and water mixed with a little soap. Now, in this reaction, we're typically excited just to see the bubbles of steam and oxygen. But there's something special about the oxygen that comes off of this hydrogen peroxide. And before I continue, I'd like to thank the Swedish beauty tech brand Foreo for partnering with me on this video. You can actually achieve a mini facelift with the Foreo Bear device. The Foreo Bear is made by Foreo <laughs> Sweden, a company that's shaken up the wellness link to a different or spin orbital no. with opposite spin. I'm always worried about finding a gift for a birthday or an anniversary or any other. What? If you're interested, percent off. Let's get back to our experiment. Normal oxygen that we breathe looks like this. Its two most outer electrons are in different orbitals and have the same spin. This makes it pretty stable. But the oxygen that comes off hydrogen peroxide looks like this. It's in an excited state where the electrons now fill the same orbital with opposite spins. This is called singlet oxygen, and it's very reactive. It wants to react very quickly with almost any organic material. In fact, it's so reactive that it'll even react with other singlet oxygen molecules to produce normal oxygen. When this happens, it actually releases a photon of red light. This light is in a narrow band of light at 732 nanometers or 634 nanometers. But you need a high concentration of the singlet oxygen to make this happen. So all I'm going to do is take some of these chlorinating granules, put them in a beaker here. Here we go. Here's and then the I have stuff. some 30 percent hydrogen peroxide. So this is much stronger than the hydrogen peroxide you can get in the store. So if I just take this hydrogen peroxide and drip it onto some pool chlorine, then the reaction produces singlet oxygen at high concentration so they can bump into each other. This actually liberates chlorine gas as well, so you have to be careful when doing this. I'm wearing a gas mask. Where to go? Some of this no, hydrogen peroxide. Now watch what happens when I drip it in here. Whoa. Where the fuck is my bacon? That is so cool. God damn it, man. They left out my bacon. Look at this scary Fucking glow asshole. of singlet oxygen. But now back to lasers. If we use this light, like from this chemical reaction, then we can make... Fucking assholes, man. They left out my bacon, man. Fuck. I paid $5 for that bacon.
I'm gonna have them fucking give it to me for free. Fucking assholes. Man. I just want what I fucking ordered, man. Fuck. Is it that hard, y'all? Fuck, man. I'm still grateful for what I got, but goddamn, dude. Every fucking time it's something with these motherfuckers. Every fucking time it's something. Can't give me no goddamn bacon. All I wanted was fucking bacon, man. Piece of shit. Dude, they're like the only deli, like the only diner kind of place around, and they do, hey, to be fair, I should not bitch because of the pork chops they gave me. You don't even understand. Dude, if I showed you, I, when I look at these pork chops, right, they're both like the size of my face each and like an inch thick. It doesn't make sense. I, the, seeing the pork chops makes me forget about not having the bacon, bro, because it's crazy. God damn. But still, though, I still should get my bacon, but fuck. I know. It fucks me up. Because I want to be mad, but the pork chops look really good. <laughs> uh. What's this? 18 minutes. Who's this? CS Coach? Jarvis with open a Oh, is this the actual Jarvis from the Jar if this is the actual Jarvis from the repo? Who am I speaking with? I am Jarvis. I am an advanced artificial intelligence system created by Tony Stark. My name stands for just a rather very intelligent system. Jarvis, what is your purpose? As Jarvis, my purpose is to serve as your trusted virtual assistant. Just as I did for Tony Stark in the Iron Man movies, I am here to assist you with various tasks and provide you with information and guidance. Jarvis, can you explain the point of this video? Certainly. So, Oscar, the purpose of your YouTube video is to showcase how one can use ChatGPT, a powerful language model like myself, in combination with Python to create a voice assistant similar to Jarvis from the Iron Man movies. By demonstrating this process, you aim to provide viewers with a step-by-step -step guide on how to develop their own personalized voice assistant using accessible tools and technologies. Great. I've seen a bunch of these. I just want to I see if they were. Wanted your own. I just wanted to see if they're actually using uh, the Jarvis repo from Microsoft, which is another tool that they built. I never did try the the, the Jarvis tool from Microsoft yet. It's not. I, I mean, I know that they named it that, and that's kind of a um, cliche or whatever because of the Tony Stark thing. But it's not. It's not. That's not what it is. It's like an actual AI. But the fact. That you could take the AIs and just hook them up to another, uh, you know, AI voice modulated trained on Jarvis is not really that impressive. That shit's kind of easy now. You know what I mean? That shit's kind of easy now. Your own personal virtual assistant. When you watched Iron Man, did you ever wish you could have your own personal Jarvis? What does that look like to you, Jarvis? Someone to help you with your tasks. And they could do so in a way that would feel like a conversation, like an actual assistant. You know, what you wish Siri and Alexa could do. Well now, with the power of OpenAI's ChatGPT, you, you can, can have it. that. What you just heard was an actual, real conversation that I had with ChatGPT acting as Jarvis. In this video, I want to teach you how to make your own program that will allow you to do what you just saw. A program that will allow you to have an audio conversation with it. Yep. You just use an 11 labs, noticed, I get it. But in the footage that I recorded for this video, I did ask ChatGPT to uh, create some Python code that would allow me to speak to. I wonder if he's going to use. Um, I wonder if he's going to use LangChain or not. I guess we'll find out. It as though I was speaking to Jarvis, uh, but I found that, that that the code it created was not ideal, um, as it had some errors and it was not exactly structured in a way that would have been nice for me to be able to speak with Jarvis. 
Uh, and so I wrote my own code and I think it's just a little bit better for instructional purposes. So that's what I'm going to be using rather than asking ChatGPT to write the code for me. And to start, I'm going to start with the code that's at the bottom of this file. Um, in particular, uh, these lines right here. And I'm going to start with line 67, where I basically initialize this messages array, which its purpose is to keep track of our conversation with ChatGPT. Uh, OpenAI, the API that it has, does not remember the conversation for us. And so we have to store the whole conversation that we have with it in this array so that when we continue to talk to it, um, ChatGPT has the full context of the whole conversation and can respond accordingly. And so, you know, once we get that initialized, we go into this while loop and uh, there's basically just three steps that are here in this while loop. The first step is to um, run this record text function. And once this function runs, what, the, what happens is the Python program waits for the microphone input uh, for, from the user, and it basically waits to hear audio. And once now, it does... I'm gonna let y'all know, I'm not really interested in this guy's project. And as soon, I'm not even gonna eat my pork chops because I'm gonna do what I normally do and eat my pork chops later. But I am eating these eggs and these potatoes and no bacon. And as soon as I get done with that, I'm probably gonna start doing some stuff with AI. <clears throat> Up to and including working on AI software in Python using regular old chat GPT and cloud and bard to divvy up some information that I want. Maybe working on some AI generated mind maps and content in general for projects that I'm on. I'm on. And we're definitely going to go back and implement a few of the really good open source projects like Agent GPT and uh, a couple others just to see what they're up to. Just to see what they're up to. Uh, after all these weeks of leaving them alone and they've been growing and getting crazier every day. So I'm going to look back and see how far it's coming just like a month and a half of not paying attention while I was doing other shit to those repos. So that'll be fun. Also, I'm trying to see what my buddy Dre just said. He said, Chad GBT is letting you put a system prompt in now. But I don't, I don't know that you can put a system prompt in on the regular system now. See. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, custom instructions. No. Is that what that is? I think that's what that is. So where the fuck do you set that? Hold on. I'm not sure. How that works. I need to see a video. Hmm. Yeah, this is new. No, not that. 
guess this. ChatGPT just introduced custom instructions and it might be one of the most useful options to ever come to ChatGPT. And if you use ChatGPT on a regular basis, it's gonna save you a ton of time. So let me explain what it does and I'll show you how to activate it and I'll show you some use cases too. So this box right here, I'll show you how to activate and use it in a second, but let me show you what it does exactly. These custom instructions, what they let you do is they let you tell ChatGPT some information and then ChatGPT will save that information and every new chat that you start with ChatGPT, it will have that context. So if you've ever learned about how to prime ChatGPT or how to talk to it correctly, given a context is the number one rule. You're supposed to tell it something before you ask a question yeah. so it knows which direction to go so you don't have to have too much back and forth. This lets you save that. And every time you have a new conversation, it will just know that about you. So let me show you exactly how it works. So OpenAI has this really useful options on their, their blog post about it. So it says right here, if no. you... Well, where the fuck is that? Oh, I just read that. Why am I listening to this asshole? Where's the blog? Here it is. Right. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's old. I work on science education programs for third grade students. When discussing for work, present the information in a table format, outline pros and cons. Oh wow, oh so I can just tell it to always be in markdown and shit like that. Oh shit. Okay. That's big. Cause I am having to constantly fucking repeat myself on a bunch of that type of shit, so that's kinda interesting. Let me uh, get situated for close breakfast here, and we're going to get fucking this shit up. You're going first. And you're going in. I'm gonna turn on my work uh, chat too, just in case they need me. It's my day off, but sometimes they're gonna need me.
Jesus. Mm. <laughs> oh, I see. I was just curious. I don't need their services. I'm marking down, but why is he reaching out to my business development people? <laughs> to, when I got my own employees messaging me that somebody's trying to sell me shit, it's like, there's probably a reason I ain't taking his calls, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a reason he ain't getting answered on the phone, yeah. What's this other one? Moving OI governance forward. Huh. That was today they posted this. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to have my AI summarize it because <laughs> I'm an asshole. Hold on. Information sharing. Interesting, cool. Nice. I'm just going to uh, put a little spot in our note taking systems. Now, I really need to start identifying like all the software that I use, like my technology stack, you know? Um, I got some really nice herb, bro, like a couple, two or three different kinds of flowers. I don't know what they are. But I do want to talk about my technology stack for a second. Hold on. I'm going to change my screen to the, to the monitor so you guys see everything that I do. One moment. I'm going to change it from window capture to just give you a whole ass uh, screen. Not this one, that one on the other one. There we go. That way, you, oh, and we'll fix it a little bit. There we go. Because you guys should just be able to see everything. I mean, I'm just sitting here working on all this shit. I have got nothing to hide, and I'll just show you guys um, a little bit about my tech stack and some of the stuff that I'm up to, kind of technology-wise. We'll, we'll change up the, <clears throat> the screen information, too. Hold on a second. Technology screen with AI and Blackjack. No, no Blackjack. AI and uh, uh, stuff. AI and stuff. Hashtag AI, hashtag term and name, can't, can't fit it in, huh? Hashtag term and name. And we'll go from music for now to just chatting. Yeah, you're good, bro. You know me, I'm going to be over here on my technology grind for a little bit, but I just don't mind sharing the way. <laughs> the way that I do, the things that I do. Check the homie server real quick. Connected. Channel switched. Homie server is empty. Channel switched. Microphone Sound muted. muted. This is good. Get rid of that. Got some top prompt. Let's do let's move the top prompt. 
And we really should process through all these text files, man. There's too many right now. And can't be having all that. Mm. What's he call it? Is it just men cleaner? Is it memory cleaner? Yeah, it's memory cleaner. I've got some new shit I'm running to these days. Um, <clears throat> you know what, I don't know if I put that one, but I'm going to put clip jump for sure. Um... What the fuck is it even like Polypop? Polypop. Is it Polypop Live? No, just Polypop, okay. I have to look up the name of some of these. BZX. I guess this is BZX. DS for Windows. Invoke. Curiosity AI is now part of the stack. Oh yeah, everything. NVIDIA Broadcast, aka RTX Voice, and Green Avatars, 
Resolute Arena Virtual DJ 2021-2023 Depending on what day Firebot Unity um, Unreal Engine Photoshop uh, What do you call it? Adobe Photoshop Adobe Character Creator I'll be using that a bit um, what is that? Vegas Pro 20 right now. Um, chat all or something. Chat all. So I got chat GPT desktop. Chat all. Um, oh, yeah, fucking Team Viewer and Space Viewer. Space Desk, that's right. Team Viewer, Space Desk, Virtual Desktop, Fresh. I don't kind of think any important tech stacks on just application side. It gets deeper, obviously, but this is just the application side so far. This is most of what's being used regularly right now. I got a few more things. I'm not running it right now, but I got this shit called Rambox, which I've been checking out. Oh, uh, what's that one shit? Uh, Lily Speech. Let me get everything on the main stack right now. I got some other shit that I'm not going into just now. Oh yeah, did I put an invoke? I know, okay, I did put it in up there. I got some other, other stuff that's relevant, but that's about, oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. Miro, desktop. Figma, desktop. Canva, desktop.
I'm just, just, I'm just gonna put it into the mix in key pillage. Yeah, no, pillage. Yeah. Rob, half minute. What's it called? It's a pack that I have to use. It's called the um, Explorer. Oh, you got Explorer 8 now. Sure. Find the tote. Crash 2. You know. I'm not gonna go into every single VSP, just the major stuff that I definitely fuck with. Um, also, what's the last thing I was looking to? Oh, okay, it's the most of it. My friends wouldn't uh, want me in the band. Why, but your friends don't want me in the band.
the Dalai Lama, of course, gotta put him on that. Never forget the Dalai Lama, bro. Never leave it out. Um, I guess most of these put the shit in there. I mean, I don't know if you can up to the oh, there is like, oh yeah, Tornado. It's, but who, who makes fucking, I'm trying to remember who makes Tornado. It's, uh, um, something toys, devious, devious toys. Hold on a second. Sugar bites. That's pretty good. And Liberator, but I don't know who makes Liberator too. I can't remember. I don't remember that company name. Oh, Sugar Bites. I thought so. That's about it. I like, guess we'll I got some new shit too, you know, Agent GPT. Um, Auto GPT. Oh, this is where I gotta spend one percent on my actual tools that I use, whether it's software as a service. So I do use um, Google Workspace, which includes every everything, obviously Gmail, Drive, all that, all that shit. Um, I got custom Google Sheet GPT, Chat GPT, Script, Probably needs updated. I really wanted to play that new, um, I wanted to find that new fucking, uh, Bone remix I was working on. That's what I wanted to play. If I can find it.
Termius. Yeah, okay, Termius again. Termius, Termium. it together on my own um, sorting of everything too. Very much of EQ inside of Chrome, which is like necessary if you care about listening to things in life. Hmm. 
think I might have found it. Yeah, this is what I was wanting to fuck around with. If you're down and glide and slide on the clear, then let's ride. Tony Tone, roll with bone on the dark side. But when it comes to spin your guns with ya, if you're a buster, niggas gonna have fun with ya. So, nigga, don't get me wrong, my niggas. Swing them things, bang some ranks, like it, yeah, yo, it all remains the same. Stepping your catches on both shots, murder one on the clear, not glide, glide. Mo club, what's up, nigga, get your foot in the mud, pop, and I can't stop now. Nigga, that I like, fuck with, kill, pop to the chest, how does it feel? And nigga, we feel caps, pap, finna get your wind cracked back. Kill on I'm fucking on down, I wish you would Try to get some red rum, bitch Nigga, don't test my hood A first degree murder and we explain the grave Nigga digging the ditch When the bitch and the snitches in the pit So don't fuck with them niggas of the 9-9 nine -nine. The foundation of niggas committing the crime And murdering every time Niggas beware, cause they're gonna clear Marvin like some soldiers, watch me fold ya But acting like somebody never told ya So off we go to the bloody road Trying to bless some souls with that nine shot Shell down, hit a lick, now give me the goodies and nigga make the hands. Y'all reek for the gauge and man. Shut up on 87 and last. Nigga, don't test nuts, your bucks. Fuck you, fillin' the friend for the phone yard. Don't get off with the drag or shit. They yummin' them for your whole card, bitch. Yeah, let's take us for the glare. We serving them chop chops. We ripping them guts with buck shots. Pop, pop, me, fillin' them shots. We fillin' them guts now. Crazy, lazy, busy, best wish them wicked now. We straight up the clock, clock. We don't get your wigs split now. He's down to nine. Follow me down the mystery, but we took on the dog side. But I got your pop. Niggas be trippin' and flippin' as soon as they get down. When they disturb and y'all the murder, nigga. Let my nuts on my gauge ain't glow, now walk on by Hoodie night on the bike ride Thugging through my thuggish ass, hoodie night With my pipe, thugging down the double block Trying to get my surf on Watching my back, watch it fly, try to roll low But one to the sucker's head and two up in his body Now keep my creep, I keep the reaper smoke all up inside me Yo, what the fuck with the hood? We bellin', we thuggin', we lookin' like grubs It's every day, don't ready to rope, now we willin' to make But runnin' with groupless, bitch, best take my label Murder them, never come again With a scatless nigga said, a bloody nigga truth be on my level And if it's a and the subjects get them Nigga, don't take the wrong call, you will enter the hood you down by the cut with a dozen hustlers wrong Cleveland Browns, it's all pop on the sound You're not gonna get the mix of a clay, I'm late You're not gonna get your wigs bitten up in the ditch, bitch Cause them thugs, sending them slugs Leaving them up in the cut and the fuck of the blood Say what? Then don't make me go with my trench Nigga, you got me bent I'll fuck up your lungs up Now you gotta get sent To your graveside of John Doe for fucking with love It's them thugs running them up Don't let them slug up in you to dummy me Tell me now we divide Go nationwide with the fuck fuck So where you at? So I thought that was pretty fun for a, like a first draft. I'm gonna make it better. I thought you might dig that one. There's some other shit, but I think that covers about most of it. Oh yeah, this one. I had to buy that one many moons ago.
I got some shit turned off too. I got a lot of shit in the legend. Uh, video downloader plus. That's one. That makes my go to. I'm just trying to make sure that I mention anything that actually helps me in life that I use that'll help other people. There's fucking Grease Monkey, but then there's a new well there there's like there's that one script. I got a script thing running in the background of Chrome. It's like it used to be Grease Monkey, but now it's some other shit. Or it used to be something else and now it's Grease Monkey, I can't remember. Oh yeah, now it's Violent Monkey. Lord, there's just so much. I could put a bunch of those in there, but I don't want to because there's a reason I'm not using all of them right now. All right. So let's take that list that we got so far. <laughs> I think it's Figma and Canva are note taking. That's funny. Oh shit! I didn't. Even, did I list FL Studio? Is it under Media? Yeah, it is. Okay. I guess I should put Live on there, but I don't really use Live. Spot. It's not a music. That's fine. I'm gonna fix up some of this. Is this seven two thousand twenty three? Seven
No, man, and then it organizes them all like that for me. Let's just make a few adjustments. Canva and Figma are both graphical, and so is Draw, really. OneNote, Notion, The Brain. OneNote, Notion, The Brain. Yeah, okay. Kind of put Notepad++ plus plus in there, too, but... I still do use sticky notes, because I can't help it. Come back to that. I guess we put these under media. That's where Photoshop and all that shit is. Where'd I go? All right. That's all fine. I guess I'll put Anaconda on there since so it's kind of like an overarching system when it comes to that. No. Um, no. These just need their own. I got another one um, that's like got um, is GPT for all. That's what it is. Pretty sure. Let me make sure. GPT for all. Yeah, GPT for all. Oh, yeah, better. Okay. I also got better chat GPT. And then I wanted to list a few of the tools that I use. So there's hey GPT dot chat, which is a tool. I'm using cloud. Hard, obviously. Um, there's some others, but I think I need to move um, a couple ones that it misplaced down here somewhere. Yeah, these guys. Well, that does work. It's under AI automation. That makes sense. I should move that up there with the other AI, though, so that they're not so far away from each other. There's going to be another ca category of AI called this is the like this. and that's where we're going to list uh, <laughs> Mid Journey. I don't want to, I don't want to call it one shit. I can't remember what it's called. SDXL. We'll just call it that. <laughs> it looks all weird compared to everything else. I'm not going to have it like that. It's in its own font or some shit. It did look cool though. Yeah, no problem, cool word.
just art. Yeah. Um, um, not AI. AI playground. Playground. Got AI. Isn't that still a, I still got a whole fuckload of shit there. Damn it, don't work no more. Oh, fuck you too. I'm telling you, they're not capitalized. The entire thing too. <laughs> yeah. I was just zoning out for a second thinking. I'm not going to put in here like Node.js and fucking all the different front end and back ends and shit like that because that's kind of silly. I use all that shit. All the databases, React and fucking Node and Django and all that shit, you know. Yeah, I'm only gonna include those for now because people can figure that out. There's jellyfish, but I don't feel like advertising that. Yeah. <laughs> 
put that up and here. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I should. Hold on. Oh, I love this. I got. I gotta figure that out. How to do this? Like, That's all I want for now. I don't know if any of these links are hallucinated or not, and I don't really want to go test them on. Seems legit. <laughs> Alright. So now the flick of a button. Hmm. Why is it in the chat by application like in a separate level? Oh, because it's a because it's a one and it needs to be a two. There we go. But it's got all the download links. Yeah, they look right. That's cool. Actually worked. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'll put it in the chat since you've been so patient. If you'd like to check out any of this tech stack, it is available. All the links are in the tech stack link. I'm going to pop into my Discord real quick. All right, everyone. Something. A little special today. I decided to uh, try and organize the majority of important, or not, let's not say important, just majority of software that. 
I'm regularly using. Including all references with, you know, all, including all, but including all their URLs to find and download. I wonder if I should just have it go through and name everything now. Or like, you know, put a little description under everything, maybe. That's perfect. Please. <laughs> rewrite it and include a short informative description uh, describing its Main oh, it doesn't have the God damn it. I'm going to tell this stuff. Please rewrite it and include the URL in the description. Jesus, why do I got to do this? Thanks. Is it including the fucking, it's not including the links? God damn it. It, didn't, it actually didn't include everything at all. Motherfucker, it's mad at me now. Hold on. Make a brand new one. This is one that's all fixed up. You know what? This is fine. The one I got in Notion is fine. I'm just going to have it add the fucking small description to each. I could still do that though. There we go, that's what we wanted. I just wanted to clean this up before I give it to everybody. Well, I already gave it to you, but I'm about to clean it up and have it have a little description. For everything that knows, I don't know, there might be some stuff it didn't know. It'll probably just make it up if it didn't.
Now we got it. Last time. Perfect. Now when you go to look at it, it's got all the shit, bruh. I don't know why. I don't necessarily. I wish I could make that wider, like the regular general setting width. Maybe full width. Yeah, there we go. That was fucky for some reason. Let's make sure there's no more. No mistakes. Here's a mistake. Perfect. Now you can get in there and now I can let these people have it. Let them have it. Here we go. We drop this off and oh, great, yeah. All right, cool. Well, we accomplished something this morning. We got our text tech sorted, which is fun, and will help, help help other people hopefully. Um, yep, I think that's it for me for now. I think we put in a good one. What did we get in? Three three hours and forty five minutes. Coolborn was here with me the whole time, just fucking holding it down. couple other homies and homets and hooligans out there. Thanks for listening to me rock for a couple hours earlier this morning. Hope it started off your Friday properly. Let's find somebody to host up. Let's go into Chatterino. I don't know if anybody will be on this early, to be honest. Let's see. Fricked. Fricked up is on. <laughs> That's funny. Let's do it. I'm going to go over there and hang out with him, so you can probably, if you want to hang out, keep hanging out with me, just go to Fricked Up, and uh, I'll be on his mic, probably. All right, Coolborn, I love you, brother. I'll catch you soon. Thanks for hanging out. Peace, man.